Angelic Days Cosplay here. What this is going to be is a sort of makeup, not tutorial, but me experimenting to see what kind of makeup I want for Karen Gorn from Land of the Lustrous. It's kind of a tutorial because you'll get to see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, but hey, we'll see. I'm also going to, at the same time I'm doing this, be live streaming it to my Instagram, so people might be popping in with questions, comments, etc., and I'll try to edit this whole thing into something coherent. But let's see how this goes. Just gonna. This is my face, by the way, for anyone who cares. No makeup at all. As you can see, I get eye bags kind of bad here, and there are no eyebrows. Eyebrows do not exist on my face. They've been gone for a long time now, and they're probably never coming back. So. I've learned to live with it, and right now I'm about to engage ghost mode, and ghost mode is what you're going to see my face be in without any kind of definition on it, like when I do all of the foundation before I do the contouring. And it makes me look like an unrendered CGI character, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm also a terrible unsanitary human who uses their fingers to apply their makeup, especially when I'm in a pinch. Don't be like me be better than me. Also, fun fact about my Karen Gorm wig that I'm actually using for this cosplay is that it's styled from version 1 of my Viktor Nikiforov wig, so I guess we kind of fulfilled that prophecy intentionally. All of my makeup brushes got contaminated with sparkles after Sailor Moon happened. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, see? This is what I meant by engage ghost mode. Like, I haven't rendered into the scene yet. <laughs> What is wrong with my face? Oh, what I'm gonna do actually, right quick, is I'm gonna pomade back my hair around the hairline just so that it will get out of the wig better. Because luckily, um, my hair is short enough that I don't typically use wig caps. I can just sort of shove it all in there and it helps me get less headaches. Because the tightness of the wig caps, um, I find give me headaches a lot of the time. But since it's real short in the back and everything, I can just sort of gel things back. And if I can get my hair to sit, then I can avoid doing the wig cap thing. Let's start with a little bit of contouring here. Now, part of the thing with uh, Karen Gorham's character design that I really want to do is I want to keep everything I can to the very soft silvers and whites and such. I don't want to have a lot of harsh lines. I want to like look very pale and things. So instead of doing contouring with a darker color of makeup, what I'm primarily going to want to do is just be highlighting with white instead to make the lines and focusing less on the actual contour element because I want to keep that slight ghostly element to my face. So yeah, what I'm using right now is just pure white Ben Nye face cream to do a really extreme, super bright white highlight. Alright, so we have some extremely bright white highlight going on here. Alright, I'm gonna set that all with some powder right quick and the powder is going to end up having some glitter mixed in in it because the brush that I use for my setting powder never quite recovered from the glitter in my Sailor Moon makeup and given what I'm about to do to my face I know that that's a problem that's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. I haven't read the manga yet, I know I need to. <laughs> Scrapped for a noble purpose. Sparkles, we have them but we're just going to bobby pin it for now so that we can get the general gist of what's happening. So I have these little sideburns that come down to cover my natural hair. Uh, this is the first time I've tried a full glued hairline for a wig. I'm actually quite proud of how it came out. There's some places around the hairline where I need to fill in with more scrap hair as well just to hide the little gaps like you see over here. But for today, since this is just a test, it's okay getting the general shape down, I think. I'm sort of going to not draw on the brow, but draw the line of where I know I want the brow to go right now. Doing white and light gray eyebrows is always kind of tricky. <laughs> Just because they're so low contrast and people are used to your eyebrows being a high contrast part of your face. Especially when you're pale like me and have dark hair like me, I guess. Combo of elements. But now that I have some brow action going on, I'm just going to blend the brows a little more right quick. Cool, I'm gonna... I think that the brows need a little bit of glitter to match what we have going on in the hairline here. Always be super careful working with glitter as a medium anywhere near your eyes. Eyebrows are barely acceptable, but never put glitter anywhere around your eyelid as eyeliner. It can be so dangerous to get this kind of thing in your eye if it's metallic base, so... 
If you must, be extremely, extremely careful. And again, only around the brow area. Don't try to do anything around your lids. So I'm just gonna go in for a little bit of dusting on glitter on inside area. Close my eye while I do it and probably nice glittery brows and some glitter face also kind of happening. One thing that I think I want to try doing is I have a lot of loose silver gemstones. So I'm going to try to eyelash glue some little crystals to like the inner and throughout my brows or the lack thereof of brows just to give a little bit more of that kind of gemstone look to it. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'll do the other and do a couple more and then see what my opinion is. See, um, I actually got into the show because of the cosplays I saw it, because I really wanted to see kind of what the deal with all these wigs were that everyone was making and all the sparklies. For once in our lives, we want our wigs to be shiny. What's this? Yeah, I'm probably going to go through and blend in some more silver eyeshadow around where all the stones are going, just to make them stand out a little bit less. I got me some sparkly lashes. Man, it is hard putting these on with my left hand standing far from a mirror so I can get the proper camera angle. All right, lashes are lashed. At this point, I still don't have on any like actual eye makeup. So we probably gonna wanna do that. All right, we have a little bit of eye definition happening now. I think that in lieu of doing false bottom lashes, I'm going to try putting some rhinestones on the bottom and seeing how I like the look of that. I just put the glue on the wrong side of the sparkle. That's where I'm at right now. I think I am going to try a little bit of black liner after all, just to see how I like the look of these by going in on the waterline. Okay, so what I'm doing is I lined the inner corner a bit to like widen my eyes a little, get a bit more of that definition. Not sure how I'm feeling about it. We'll see. <laughs> Everything on my face is sticky. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my lips. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of brown to see how I like, just to get them less pink. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> do we have progress? I think we have progress. I'm debating whether I wanna do anything more in terms of my eye makeup, cause all I have is that one shadow, basically. But yeah, internet, this is take one of my makeup for Karen Gorm. Hit me up if you got any more questions about it. Probably going to be modified a little bit between this and its final form when I do my shoots, but for an initial cost test, I'm happy with that now, I think. But yeah, we're just going to... I am so happy with how the wig turned out here, though. I feel like my makeup sort of, especially for this whole cosplay, is kind of towing a line between stylized and not stylized. This is my attempt at kind of the happy medium there. But, alright, I think I'm going to sign off, take some selfies. See y'all next time.